Hey, it's Simon Reynolds here and today's video I want to talk about a really important subject and that is staying calm at work, staying calm in your business. It's very difficult, isn't it? Because you're always beset by so many problems, so many challenges, so many stresses when you run a business. So how do you stay calm? Well, when I coach people, I, I look very deeply into how to keep them in optimum state so that they're outstanding CEOs, they're outstanding entrepreneurs. And I do find it amazing that other business schools do not investigate the power of making sure that you stay calm at work and techniques for doing it. I, I spend a lot of time on this and I want to take you through four techniques that can really help you stay calm and zen and collected and effective uh, when your business is, is a stressful environment. So the first one is to center yourself before you go to the office. You know, if you are getting ready to go to work and you're getting stressed about what's happening at work, often by the time you walk into the office, you're kind of wound up. And if you just take a few minutes each morning before you go into the office to center yourself and, and, and collect your thoughts, then you'll find that the state that you bring to your work is much better, more powerful, and will lead to better results. So how do you do that? Well, I've got a whole lot of techniques, but let me give you some uh, uh, simple ones now. The first one is to, to spend a few minutes uh, at home before you go into work or at a cafe or, or, or Starbucks, whatever, before you go into work, and just reconnect to your goals. What are your goals for your business? And what are your goals for today? Just think about that for a moment each morning. Well, so what kind of person do you want to be? What's the best you? What type of character do you want to be? What kind? How do you want to be in meetings today? How do you want to be uh, when you work? Just spend a minute or so getting clear about that. And finally, spend a minute just doing what every major Olympic medal winning athlete is taught to do and just visualize you performing perfectly today, performing really well in a calm, effective manner. Now, that's three minutes to do that technique of centering yourself before you go into work. But if you do it, then I guarantee you, you're gonna be uh, much more likely to perform at a high level in the office. So technique number two is to see yourself as a master problem solver. You know, owning a business, running a business is, is just constantly fraught with problems. There's every day there's all these issues that come out, up and every week it seems a major issue comes up. And how we see ourselves greatly affects our ability to perform well at work. And what I advocate is that you do some studies on self-identity and the power of self-identity because all of the research shows that how we perceive ourselves what our self-identity is of ourselves plays a huge part in how we perform. So in this case, if you see yourself as a master problem solver and you, you learn how to be a master problem solver and you focus on being a master problem solver and you create a self-identity that you are a master problem solver, then when problems come into your work, you won't be affected by it. You'll remain calm. Whereas many entrepreneurs, many CEOs get freaked out by problems that happen at work. A lot of it's to do with self-identity. So that now you, as a master problem solver, you see a problem as an opportunity or not something to be stressed about. A lot of it comes down to personal self-identity and that's a brilliant self-identity to take on board. Okay, so idea number three for how you can reduce your stress and stay zen and calm in business is take nano breaks throughout the day. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, I've found that if you just take, uh, let's say five, one or two minute breaks throughout the day and just take a few deep breaths, uh, maybe go for a one minute walk, just collect your thoughts, it takes almost no time up. But by the end of the day, you're much, uh, you've remained in a calm state. So nano breaks, very unusual. People don't talk about them, but I think you'll find them really effective. And finally, uh, tips to be super calm at work is choose to be happy. 
choose to be happy. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, believe it or not, a lot of research indicates that uh, happiness is largely a choice. So you can literally just say, you know what, even though my business isn't going well, or even though I'm irritated by this, I choose to enjoy this day. I choose to be happy when I'm at work. And if you look at the UK uh, uh, expert, Dr. Robert Holden, and his work over the last 20 years on the power of choice and ch how choosing, making the choice to be happy actually affects your happiness, it's very, very powerful. And so just try that on. It may, may be a bit of a stretch for you, but literally say, you know what? I'm not just going to do a good job at work. I'm going to choose to be happy when I'm at work as well, because more than most people think, happiness is just a choice. So if you found these tips useful, go onto my site, simonreynolds.com. That's Simon with two eyes, simonreynolds.com, and sign up for our weekly business tips and videos. And I can assure you throughout the year, you're gonna get a whole wealth of information that's going to help you build an extraordinary business and an extraordinary life. Go to simonreynolds.com and sign up today.